Hello from ChemHelp ASAP. Let's talk about the reaction kinetics of the SN2 reaction. On the left, at the top of the screen, we have a model of an SN2 reaction. The reaction coordinate diagram is in the upper right. What do we know about the SN2 reaction? The name tells us a lot. The S stands for substitution. The N stands for nucleophilic. The 2 stands for second order in the rate determining step. We know from the reaction coordinate that the SN2 only has one step. So that one step must be second order. Here is the rate equation for the SN2 reaction. So the rate equals the rate constant times the concentration of the alkyl halide times the concentration of the nucleophile. The reaction has an overall order of 2. And it is first order with regard to the nucleophile. We haven't written in the exponent, but we can. That's a 1. And it's also first order with regard to the alkyl halide. How is this information useful? Well, let's say your friend has a problem. Your friend is running an SN2 reaction. Let's write one out. So we could have this bromide, and we'll react it with sodium azide. to give this product plus sodium bromide. So the reaction is going for your friend, but the reaction is taking a long time. What advice would you give your friend? Based on the rate equation, you might suggest increasing the concentration of one of the starter materials. Which starter material? If your friend is watching the progress of the reaction, she's probably watching for the disappearance of the starting material, the starting alkyl halide. So you might recommend adding more of the nucleophile. Doubling the amount of sodium azide, the nucleophile, should double the rate of the reaction. So the SN2 reaction is second order in the rate determining step. The rate of the reaction depends on both the concentration of the nucleophile and the alkyl halide.